Hello, hello, hello friends. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we are basically presenting Muhammad's lessons. So in this uh, presentation, we are trying to answer uh, a question from 2017 ECZ exam. That is the power uh, exam. Okay, so the question reads, uh, two boards x and y live equal to p are you able to see at the same time. So these two boards live equal to p at the same time. Now x travels at a bearing of 159 degrees. Uh, and y travels at a bearing of 115 degrees, as shown in the diagram below. After some time, x and y are at points such that the angle of p y x is 41 degrees. I hope we are able to see the, the, the presentation here. So the first question says, I find the bearing of x from who? Y. Bearing of x from um, x from who? Y. The second one, P from who? X. Now, before we look at those, you allow me to make some lines, imaginary lines at these vertices, so that our draw could be simplified. So, at these vertices, uh, we can create imaginary lines. Okay. The essence is to make our job easy or simplified. Alright. Okay, so this might be that as our north pole for point X, then this one the north pole for point G. Why? Good. Now. We want the first one, find the value of x from y. So the difference point is e, y. We go to point y, then move from the north pole in a clockwise direction. Alright? Not until you meet the line x, y. So that is our value. That is our value that we want to get. Now, we know that for us to find this, we need to know what this angle is. Or what that value is. Okay? So how do we do it? Uh, we can come to this part and try to utilize the property of alternate angles. So, if this angle, for example, was this and that line are parallel lines, and this is the transform, meaning that this angle and this angle are in from this. Alright? We say this one and this one are alternate. So, we need to find this. Alright? And now, how do we find it? Okay, so we know that. Uh, Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. And that the bearing from here up to there is 250. So how do we get the difference? We say 250 minus 180. Okay? So we say 215 degrees minus 180 degrees. Here, the difference here will be this angle here, or the value of this angle. Which we'll also be of that one. So now when we subtract here, we have 5, of course here this will be 11, and we need 5, so we have 35 degrees. Alright? So we have 35 degrees here. Meaning that if this is 35, this angle is also 35 degrees. Alright? Now, since we now have 41 and 35, therefore we are able to calculate the entire angle here. How do we do it? So we are going to say again. The angle there will be 35 degrees plus 41 degrees. And this gives us what? 70, 60 degrees. So in terms of degrees, this is the value there. But in terms of bearings, remember I give you three figure bearings. So if you have got two digits, you, put, you, you fix it a zero there. So this should be our value. So the bearing from, uh, the bearing of x from y is supposed to be 0, 7, uh, 60 degrees. I hope we'll pick that one. 0, 7, 60 degrees. That's the value of x in from u, 1, the whole of this. Okay. Then we go to the second one. The value of p from x. The value of p from what? x. p from x. Good. So our reference point here that I mentioned earlier is x. So this. This is our reference point, and we've created an imaginary north pole. You must move from the north pole in a clockwise direction, not until you meet the line. Right? That's the bearing that we want to find. But now, how can we 
get this? Of course, there are a lot of approaches, but if we knew this angle, then we would say 180 minus six. The question is, are we able to get this? Okay, we can try to apply again the same property of alternative angles, meaning that this angle would be alternate to this. So if we were to know this, suppose that this is 20, then the other one would be 20. Then we'll say 360 minus C, 20, that would be the pair. Now, how do we try to get this? Remember I said this is a straight here and work to here, which is 180. Alright? How can we find the difference? We are saying angles on a straight line add up 180. But from here to there it is 159. What is the difference? So I'm going to say uh, 180 degrees minus 159 degrees. So when you subtract there, what do you get? You get 21 degrees. Alright? So mean that this is 21 degrees. Okay. And if this is 21 degrees, this one will also be 21 degrees for the outer Alright? So now how do we get the, the final answer of that to value, which is this? We are going to say the final value is supposed to be 360 degrees minus 21 degrees. Alright? Because the complete 10 gives us 360 degrees. So here you have 5, and here you have four, 10. So you have four, 9, here you have 3, and here you have four, 3. So the bearing from this point up to that point is 339 degrees, which is the required bearing. 339 degrees. Okay. I hope you know, that is very clear. Now, I must mention that there are a lot of ways of getting these values. Okay? You can use any other methods. Alright? If you want, maybe you can say there is this and that. Meaning that the whole lot of 76 here and this up here, they are outer edge. Then plus 180 here. Okay? Then again, you can find the number inside because we know what is here. And that was the angle of the angle of the angle of the angle of the this angle plus the angle of the angle of the angle of the angle of the angle the angle of the angle of the the angle of 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 the 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 angle of the 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 easiest. So, that's why we end uh, for this presentation. But I will give you the question by uh, showing it to you via the, the camera, they should be able to to find the answers. I hope we are able to see. Okay, so you can pause, copy, attempt. Like the first one, we try to find the answer for you, so you try to work it out and from there. Okay. I hope you are very clear. Okay, thanks so much.